it is immense pleasure to welcome you all for my presentation the subject is personal investment management to become second so last class we have discussed about the investment avenues in simple sentence so under that we have discussed and also we learned so lot of things towards uh, money market instruments and today today's class we are going to focus on uh, term deposit or also called as a marketable securities non marketable securities are those securities which cannot be liquidated in the financial market deposit which usually have a certain time period for its maturity the following are the few examples of term deposits what are those deposits the first one is bank deposits and second one the post office deposits and third one company deposits and last one provident fund deposits so let us discuss what is bank deposits so it is a one type of savings uh, normally the people they are doing there are three types of accounts that means three type of types of deposits are available in our, in all the types of banks the bank may be the commercial bank and non commercial banks and also called as a nationalized bank and non nationalized bank also for example if you want to deposit money in sbi or if you want to invest money in cooperative banks or any other type of uh, a private banks and also the public banks uh, normally they are they are they are having the three types of deposit that is the first one is fixed deposit so the term tells it is fixed the deposit is fixed for how long for the term of 5 years for the term of 3 years 10 years like that for every year they are going to provide interest okay the interest may be 6% and also the interest is differs from a uh, general people and as well as the senior citizen okay senior citizens are the people the age limit is more than 60 years like that the interest rate is varies between a uh, general citizen and a uh, senior citizen recurring deposits under the recurring deposit also you can't uh, put the money in a lump sum you can invest money in a in a regular basis that is in term basis so every month every month you are going to save the 5000 rupees and uh, deposit those money to the banks uh, this is also fixed for 3 years or 5 years like that so according to the uh, depositors interest so here also you, you you are going to get the interest interest rate may be 6% or uh, 5.75% like that so according to the uh, de, uh, according to the rule of rbi the interest rate is will be having in the in this type of banks the next type of deposit is called as a post office deposit this is also the similar deposits are available in post office also even though you can in deposit your money in the form of rd and as well as the fd in post office this post office is also available in everywhere there are lot of uh, schemes are also available in post office also uh, in, in, uh, the current information towards the post office is so you can you should uh, invest your money uh, there will be a concession for the uh, local that means uh, rural people so that type of schemes is also available in post office and also uh, along with these deposit there are various schemes like sukanya samruddhi yojana and other type of uh, uh, program is a scheme is also available in post office the another type of common companies deposits are another type of deposits are company deposits here the person is going to invest the money in the companies the companies may be a big company or maybe small company or maybe the medium small msme companies like that so here also there the availability of 
uh, deposits in the form of RD and as well as the FD. Next one, uh, another type of deposit is provident fund deposit. So th th these are the days the employees they are, they are compulsory. They are having PPF account. So the PPF account nothing but public provident fund. Here also the interest rate is more than seven percent, seven point seven five percent like that. So this is also one type of a uh, deposit. You can invest your money for the long period or or maybe for the short period also for five years or ten years the PPF uh, is available and this type of account you should open in the banks like SBI and Bank of Baroda like that. NPS it is one type of a new uh, pension scheme it is also a good uh, investment avenue that is national pension scheme here also you are going to invest your money for a long period uh, so according to uh, your needs that means installment basis you are going to deposit your money in NPS for a long period that means after your retirement you are going to get the uh, <coughs> pension in the form of pension okay that pension will be fixed early when you are going to invest your money so then they are going to decide so how much uh, uh, pension you required after your retirement so that type of uh, scheme is available in and national pension schemes. This is a new type of schemes. It is uh, uh, introduced by the central government uh, before last year. Here, the functions of this NPS, uh, what the company is doing? The company is going to get the deposit from the public and that uh, deposit is to be invested in various shares, shares of the company. Okay, and, the, and like that they are going to reduce the risk of the depositor. That is the uh, one type of uh, investment avenue. It is uh, very useful for the uh, depositor. Anyway, we learned a uh, lot of things uh, towards the non-marketable security. Uh, another type of uh, investment avenue is insurance policies. So this is common. So each and every person, uh, they are having life insurance and as well as general insurance. So life insurance, it is uh, referred to the person. Uh, that means uh, men and women, but general insurance is particularly related to the motor vehicles. Life insurance is not considered as an investment, but only a social security measure. So as per some experts, they are saying life insurance is not an investment. It is a requirement and it is a social security measurement. Okay, so sudden accident may be happen, sudden death may be happen, what about your family? Okay that type of security. So you need a social security, okay? That's why the central government and as well as the state government, they are going to introduce the various type of schemes towards a life insurance also. So earlier, uh, the, in a few years back, for some type of insurance, life insurance schemes are available. Pradhan Mantri uh, insurance scheme and also the other type of insurance. So you just you pay your two rupees uh, every year, you are going to get the life insurance. That type of uh, op uh, opportunity is given by the central government. Today, the, the life insurance uh, type of schemes is also available. And if you are interested, you go and visit the bank and, and tell about this type of uh, life insurance. Okay, And uh, in privately, you can also invest your money in life insurance also. The main objective of uh, the is to earn and return, but the primary objective of the life insurance is to secure our family against the unfortunate event of our death. It is popular among the individuals. As there is a security made available for the family members post the death of the insured to maintain their lifestyles. Okay. So anyway, there are numbers of uh, uh, kinds of life insurance. Okay, the, like uh, endowment insurance policy. Here, the both uh, facilities are available. So, if you are alive for a uh, particular period, you can get the returns. If you are not alive, the, the, your family is going to get the benefits. That is an endowment insurance policy uh, function. And money back policies is also available in insurance policies. Whole life policy, that means both the life insurance as well as the medical will be covered in the entire life policies. Term insurance policies is also available. 
so and already i told that general insurance is also one type of uh, uh, making a savings it is basically meant for protection against the loss of any assets like motor vehicle house property valuables body parts health etc the types of general insurance will include motor vehicle and vehicle insurance household as well as taken a step fire and natural calamities property insurance medical claim policy hospitalization insurance accident claim policy etc so according to the needs of the investors okay and also well, uh, as well as the depositors you can take any one type of uh, insurance so this is also the one type of investment avenue so money market instrument is also the one type of in- investment avenue it is discussed in our lake classes so both the treasury bills commercial papers certificate of deposit so these are the various kinds of uh, money market instruments is also called as a short term investments uh, treasury bills and uh, commer- commercial paper it is uh, uh, used by rbi and uh, it is fixed for 91 days 180 days like that the period will be there and you are going to get the interest along with your principal value okay so anyway it is uh, it is already discussed and the video is available in the youtube channel <coughs> anyway we learned a lot of things towards uh, the types of uh, <coughs> investment avenues in the next classes we are going to focus on the retirement plans retirement plans and also the equity investment uh, separately and also we are going to focus on the other investment avenues like gold tcs subjects real estate and derivatives these are the various uh, avenues of investment and the investor if you are interested you can invest your money in these type of avenues thank you very much myself i am vinay kumar ji assistant professor uh, department of commerce sps college fundwork